Hello, everybody. This is Lydia from Beachy Heights. Thank you for coming on. I have um, wonderful, beautiful, elegant guest today, Ms. Laura of Lady.com. <laughs> she is awesome. I mean, when I talk about such a nice, just beautiful soul, that is definitely her. She's a mother of three. Of three and she is the founder and creator of Lady.com. So how you doing, Laura? I'm doing so good. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. I really, truly appreciate it. I mean, I was, you know, we were talking about, about what we do, and you mentioned, you know, you're a mother three, and I was like, that's a job all on its own. So to be able yeah. to do that and be able to have a successful, you know, business as well, I mean, it's really impressive. So um, tell us, tell us how did Lady come about? Um, what was your, your, how did it all come about? Well, I'm a fashion designer by profession, so I was working in the industry, um, uh, and when I was going through my pregnancies, I realized that there was not much to wear when it comes yeah. to, like, uh, you know, I, I was a fashion designer, I had to look kind of cool at my job, and I was pregnant, and it was really difficult to find clothes that I liked and that, you know, fit into my lifestyle. So when I had that problem, and by my third pregnancy, I kind of got, you know, tired of it. So I started making things for myself and I was making like little tops, little, little things here and there that I could wear um, and I could change, you know, I could wear in different ways and I liked it. And I was like, you know, I can, maybe there's other people that have the same problem and I can, you know, help them with that situation. So I actually started my shop when I was uh, about six months pregnant with my third. Wow. Yes, uh, and it's a shop of uh, tops and dresses that are uh, wearable during your pregnancy, but you can wear them um, after as well. I mean, <laughs> what an innovative, creative idea. I mean, honestly, that's like really just taking, it's the epitome of like really taking this, your situation, learning from it, and really just uh, uh, juicing it, right? Just monetizing your situation yeah. and really moving beyond and to create something. And then you were able to really incorporate a lot of yourself, you know, your creation, your passion for creation. Um, but you saw a problem and you solved it. And that is, if, if you are, <laughs> you're really like successful people or, or like how to become a millionaire, how to do it, that's what it says. Find a problem find yes. a solution, you know, I yeah. mean, it's so creative to do that. Cause you mentioned that you, um, you could use the clothes, not only during your pregnancy, but after yes, as well. And In how fact, that I wear them all the time. And I, yeah. my, my little one is four now. So, wow. <laughs> you know, I wear them because they're very forgiving, you know, you don't have to, you know, hide, tug and all that stuff. It's comfortable. You know, it. I'm, I designed this so that it's shapely and that it's still flattering for everyone, but it's not cinched to you know too too tight that you you know things will show. You know, you can hide your little things or you know here and there. And all mothers have a little something to hide, so yes. it's kind of like you know it lets you be, and you still can be sexy. Like a lot of the the the, the designs are like shoulders all out and they're like you know they have a little hint of sexy that's like edgy and like you know fun yeah. but it's also comfortable and very wearable so amazing i love it <laughs> so we so i know that that was your inspiration and your motivation your your children and, and just going through, and your pregnancy really and going through that um but what kind of like keeps you really on track now what inspires and motivates you to continue it because you know you're you're you past that stage but what inspires you to continue doing it i really think that like being pregnant is a beautiful stage and a lot of women spend that part of their life a little bit uh down because your body is changing you're gaining weight you you can't wear your regular clothes so i think that i what i do is like provide something that makes people feel good during a time when a lot of us feel a little bit off because we're just not the same and your body is changing. Um, but if you give, you know, for me, giving people the solution or options of things that they can wear and feel good in, because I really believe that if you look good, you feel good. Um, I feel that uh, it's, a, it's a good thing to give someone that's going through that, you know, that stage. It's kind of like, you know, taking something off your plate you know, and helping you have confidence throughout the whole process. You know, you can still look good. You can have your bump and you can show it off and you can still feel good about yourself, you know, in, in a different way because you are going through a different stage. So yeah. for me, that's like the most 
that's that's where I got my inspiration. I'm motivated by the fact that I can provide something that will make it easier for a person, you know, because it's really difficult that day when you wake up and nothing fits and there's no going back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, providing that for people for me is very like motivational. Like I, I get motivated by that. Absolutely. You said that. I mean, so many mothers uh, struggle with it, you know, during and after because their bodies are not the same. And, and really pregnancy and having children takes a toll on yeah. your body. It really does. And, and that uh, a really important part is about understanding, like finding yourself, you know, like, like having just some reflections of yourself as you're going through this transition and saying, you know, I'm going through this change and I'm changing on, and there's this metamorphosis, but I'm still me, right? Exactly. I'm still in here. Mm -hmm. And um, I talk a lot about self love so much because it's so important. And that's part of that. Being able to definitely have uh, wear your line and still feel sexy, still feel good is so valuable because it, it reminds uh, a mother to be or even after she's still there and she still yes. has sexiness. She still has appeal. I mean, it takes a while uh, and some women struggle with it a whole lot more. So it really does help. That's really, really awesome. Yes. I love that that is a lot of your, your center and your focus. Uh, so right now, uh, for Lady, what are you envisioning for the future? Where do you want to take I want to I wanna do so many things. Um, I'm still a one-woman show, so I'm limited in the, the amount of time that I can dedicate to it and the, you know, the things that I can do, but I have so many ideas. I mean, my products can increase to, to bottoms, and I can do skirts and things like that. And, there's so many beautiful options and people don't like uh, big corporations can't offer because it's so such a vast amount of product that you are only offering to one sector of the market, which is, you know, maternity. So that's why when you go to the store, there's not that much. They just yeah. give you the very basic things. So dedicating myself to that area, which to me is an underserved market and providing them with more, everything that they need. They, they need everything. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. Providing them with more, but in a fashionable and edgy and like nice, sophisticated way. Some, you know, I, I, I give it a lot of thought, you know, how it's going to look, how it's going to lay, how it's going to feel and all those things. So all those things take time to develop. And as a, as one sole person, <laughs> as a solo entrepreneur, yeah. it's a little bit difficult to get it all together and done, but I am working slowly towards uh, providing a more complete collection with, you know, more, even more things that people can wear and enjoy and, you know, <laughs> feel good in. <laughs> right. well, we're excited to see that definitely. And to wrap up, I mean, we want to see it like in stores, like we want to see it all across definitely and, and rev up to, to being there because it's like you say, it's very needed. It's a niche of the market, but it's absolutely needed. Yes. Um, uh, so what kind of impact do you want it to really have on all of your community and definitely mothers? I know you touched a bit about that. You just want them to be able to feel, but is there, um, you know, a, in addition to the impact that you wanted to create to the community, um, but not all, only mothers, but kind of like young women entrepreneurs looking at you, seeing that you have this business, you know, what impact you wanted to create on them? What advice would you have for them? Well, the, I would love to be an inspiration for anybody that wants to do, that has something in their heart that they want to do because a lot of people stay with that and they don't, you know, execute anything with that. I feel like when you get something, a desire, a wish, a dream, it's something that's given to you for you to execute it. You have to, give yourself give that to the world because that's your duty here on earth that's how i personally feel right. so when i have an idea i do my best to get that idea out to make it a thing to make it possible to create it it could right. be anything but if i have an idea i like to put it out there because i feel like it's my mission as a human to do it and i would like to inspire people to to do that too it doesn't come out of nowhere you know what i mean it's you're not crazy Right. what you thought of yeah. you know, you're not crazy for that lyric you just came up with you know it's something that's given to you and you should share it with the world right and just the fact that it was given to you and you alone is special enough and worth it enough for you to go out there 
put it out there somehow. Absolutely. I talk about walking in your purpose so much because not only is it, and, and it's like you said, that it's a different way of viewing it. It's not about, you know, chasing money or making money off of it or trying to make a profit, but really it's about that this is a gift that you want to give. It's, 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 exactly. purpose. it's like it's something that you have to do, and not only for for the world for you for your the expression of yourself right yeah. for the expression you have this idea and you want it to to see to take an idea a vision and put it into fruition and see it develop is an amazing amazing feeling it's it almost like um, you know, having a child, you like build this baby inside of you and, and you give birth, right? And you see them grow. And it's like, it's the same thing with an idea. Um, it's really an expression of yourself, but you know, the impact that it has for other people, that's really what should be the motivation um, more than anything to really put that out there. It's true. And money comes so after. Your right? gift is a gift and it's right. to the world, but it has to be, it has to come through you. You right. have to let it pass through and you have to make it happen. So right. everyone should be motivated to do that for that sole reason. You know but what I mean? Thinking about the reason, reason. Yeah, absolutely. I'm um, thinking about the reasons that people don't, right? Yes. The people that, that people don't, don't do it. What do you think? Um, how can they like battle that? How can they really uh, um, face and work through the challenges? Cause you know, it's like doubt or, or I don't, or skill even like I don't know how to do this or how am I going to do this or why would I even think that I could do something right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people, especially I think that that happens a lot with black and brown because we have a lot of limitations that are set on us by just stereotypes by the media. Like um, we, I was talking to Latina made not made and we were talking about stereotypes and about how it's imposed on females Latinas to be like maids. Like that's even what was coming up on, on like Google search. So yeah. thinking about limitations, what do you think, how can we overcome that? You know, it's beautiful that you say that you felt a gift and you can execute it, but most people stop there. Most people stop with an idea and they don't execute. What would, what would be your advice to take it from exit from an idea to execution? My first thing, you have to know that the gift you have, it is your duty to put it out there. You have to know that. You would never get the idea if it wasn't something that you were meant to do. It, would just, it wouldn't happen. Right. That's what I believe. Then you have to get rid of the limitations. There really are no limitations except for self-imposed ones. If you sit at home and you think, I can't do that because this, that's just, that's happening inside your head. That's not real life. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? You right. can tell yourself that, but you have to beat that out of your out of the way because it's normal, it's human nature, you know, we all have fears, we all have our own, you know, self-doubt and, you know, things that come up, even other people come up, but the fact that you have that dream inside you and you feel that it and it needs to come out and it needs to be produced, you have to push through everything else in order to do that. You do. It's, it's, it's a mind thing. You have to understand that the only limits that you have are the ones that you put on yourself. Yes. If you understand that, then you can really be like, you know, be quiet. <laughs> you know, I'm going to do it. You know, you can yeah. shut that little part of your mind off. As far as society goes, again, if you are self-limiting, you are going to allow other people to limit you because you already feel that about yourself right. so if you start with yourself when you go out there you go out with your power with what you your mission is and then you just do it it's going to be scary it's going to be hard it's going to be a struggle you're going to have a rough time all the things are going to happen they're all going to happen because that is life but you have to just get through it right do your mission focus on that and then just keep going was That's it easy advice. for you? Was it easy for you? Easy? No. <laughs> it's not easy. It's just the thing that I feel like I have to do. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I cannot live my life um, being untrue to myself. I can't live my life being, like, pretending I'm happy at a corporate America job. 
Right. I can't do it. I can work a corporate America job, but I have to be doing my mission too. I right. can, you know, wash the dishes and do all the dirty work at home, but I also have to have space to work on my mission. Right. I'm not going to push that aside because of any reason, because it's not worth living. That's so powerful. That's so powerful what you said there, because really, honestly, that is, uh, again, what I'm hoping to get, that people get out of these interviews, is the fact that nobody that's on the other end of, of this um, interview on this camera, not, not I, not anybody else, is it easy for them. They are following something that they feel is inside of them. And they're pushing through a lot of the obstacles, including in their heads. And like you say, you know, you to living, right, life is really being, expressing that, that mission outside of you, that purpose, really living through that purpose. And, and that's living because otherwise you're just going through life yes. passionless. You're you just know, going and, through the motions and doing that right? routine. And going through it but even with the hardships when you are going moving towards your mission and aligned with your purpose and all that stuff you feel joy in the littlest things like it gives you joy you get something out of it even when you're having hard times even when you're you know breaking nights all that stuff comes with it but the the fulfillment that you get from accomplishing the things that you set out to or that you're meant to be doing is it it, it breaks through that it makes okay. it all worthwhile so at the end of the day, it ends up being harder not to do it because you never will get the fulfillment. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, you, even if you're going through hardships, you're sacrificing and all that stuff, at least you're getting fulfillment. You're getting inner peace. You're getting happiness. Absolutely. That's a beautiful yes. message. Beautiful <laughs> message. Absolutely. So important. Um, so absolutely. I mean, to go from there, it's almost like – you know, follow your heart and, and really just brave through it. And it is tough, but you have to really go through it. Thank you so much for that message. I think it's beautiful. Um, so tell us how can anybody get involved with you or just even purchase from you or where do we find you? So you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at the lady page. And um, I have an online boutique where I sell every, all the things that I make. I make a bunch of things. I make clothes, but I also do like other little, you know, decor and things like that that are handmade. And those are on my, at my online boutique. But all the links are at Instagram and okay. Facebook. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. So definitely be sure to check that out and check your line out. And we can't wait till we see it all over. Like I say, I, I am looking forward to walking into a Macy's and seeing in the maternity section, <laughs> seeing um, your, um, the lady fashion, you know, the lady, the lady line. So I am so looking forward to it. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I guess uh, if anything else that I can ask you is, how do you, um, like, I, not in part of your motivation, but kind of like how do you stay so elegant, right, like calm, and how do you really find your, that strength to do what you do? The strength? Um, I just feel like I'm going in the right direction. Like I chose to take care of my kids. So my kids are like the first thing. They're they're the, the the I'm here for everything. I work from home, so every I'm here all the time. I I'm here for them. I can pick them up. I can drop them off. I, I'm the one that's here for them. So my kids are, you know, getting their thing. But I also am doing my mission. Right. So I feel like I'm walking in the right direction. And even though it's not easy, it's a sacrifice, and I'm not making the big money I would be making if I was, <laughs> you know, yeah. in an office in Midtown. Um, I understand that this is the most, the more important part of my life. Right. This is the more, the the more important mission that I have. So I'm at peace with that, and right. I I I understand that there's a bigger picture out there that I'm walking towards, and even though it's a slower process, it's slow, but I really have everything I need. Yeah. And I'm happy with that and I'm grateful for what I have. And I have my kids and I'm able to take care of them. And that is something I wouldn't sacrifice. So being at peace gives you peace. Yes, yes. I'm at ease here. 
And I, you know, I hope for the best and I work really hard, but I'm really at peace with what I have and grateful and... Amen. And that goes to the piece of talking about, you know, really knowing what you truly want and what does joy and happiness really look like for you? Because a lot of us get confused uh, with the idea of what we should want or what what um, peace and happiness act looks like. And that's not true. You know, we have We're to not really, having enough. A lot of yeah, we happy. really have to know you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot to be happy. Um, you know, as long as you have everything you need, food, shelter, like the very basics, and then you have the people around you that you love. And then again, you know, what does, what does it really look like uh, for you to really be happy? Does it, ha does it have to really mean to be like in a huge mansion or yeah. is a quiet little home with your loved ones enough, right? It's mm -hmm. about really evaluating what truly makes you happy um, without the facade, without the superficiality of it all, mm -hmm. and, and really manifesting that. So it really looks like you've manifested that. You've manifested a life that, you know, again, gives you peace, brings you joy, and has a little bit of everything that you, you love. Yes. So congratulations. And I want to say, say one more thing to everyone, which is something I tell myself every single day to get, you know, get started. You have everything you need to succeed. You already have it. It's already in there. You have everything you need to succeed. There's nothing out there that you have to get, nothing missing. You are enough, and you have everything you need to succeed. So if you understand that, all you're doing is just going through it, and it's just working and just going through it. But you're whole. You know, you're complete. You just need to, you know, find your lucky break. You know, get a little luckier, get a little, you know, things like that. But you, as a person, are already whole and perfect that's perfect perfect ending and i'll <laughs> definitely i won't even say no more after that because it's exactly the truth and i hope that everybody out there listening can really take that in and understand what that means and believe it and, and really um make that sink into their lives so yeah. thank you so 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 much for being here and thank you for your message thank you for your work um thank you for your spirit and thank you for believing in yourself to being out there because it's an inspiration to us out here, you know, trying to do the same. Yes. So thank, thank you, you so much Laura. for inviting me and I wish you the best of luck with your business as well. <laughs> thank you. All right, guys. So be sure to check out Laura and um, the lady page. I'll be putting her handles all on there. And to always, of course, continue to subscribe to Reaching Heights, to tune in and know that we're here. Um, this is something that it's a joint effort. And as I say, together we rise, y'all. So let's get it going. <laughs>